What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Brews and Board Games. My name's Andrew, and it is time for another installment of What Did I Spend My Money On? What did I back? What did I buy at retail? Did I actually go in for Marvel Zombies? And if I did, did I do two-wave shipping? Oh, that's going to be crazy. Now, this video isn't going to be about uh, things that I've bought and did, you know, acquired last month. This is basically just recent things that I've spent money on. And we're going to talk about a wide range of stuff. Also, I do want to hear from you. What did you back or acquire recently? Did you go in for Marvel Zombies as well, even though there's all that crazy, you know, shipping price stuff? I want to hear from you. So put it in the comments, list out what you bought recently and what you're expecting uh, pretty soon. So with that being said, let's just get right into it. We are going to switch it up a little bit. First up, let's talk about actual campaigns that have arrived. Uh, there's only two, and if you watch some of the other videos, you probably already know what these are. For, in the game room tour, I pointed these out, and this is gonna be Super Fantasy Brawl Round Two. I really like this game. It's lightweight skirmish game. It's a lot of fun. I've played it a lot. So when they announced more characters coming for it, I had to jump in on it. And each of these boxes, there's three more characters. I haven't played with them yet, but I do have a playthrough coming up on the channel. At this point in the video, I might have already done the playthrough with my wife, but I'm excited to try these characters out. And we are going to pick from the new characters. Really excited about this. And I recently just got this in, like I said. So I'm really looking forward to that. Also, I just recently did a playthrough of this as well. And this is going to be more Conan stuff. In particular, Conan the Conqueror. I love this game. This is one of my favorite games. There's a lot of goodness in this box. And I just played a scenario from the new Tomb of Skellos. I did a solo playthrough. Nail biter, man. Really exciting. If you are curious about the game, I uh, encourage you to check that out. It was a lot of fun. But I love this game, man. I mean, the gem management, the overlord, just running around hacking and slashing. Absolutely love it. And the theme is one of my favorites. So I got more of it. And I got a lot more of it, too. There's this. There was a bunch with the Conquer campaign. But I also added on the three big box expansions for it as well. I'm just covered in Conan stuff. And I couldn't be any happier. So that's going to be Conan the Conqueror. Also got this guy from it as well. Keep me in check a little bit, right? Oh, sorry, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> so that's going to be some Conan the Conqueror. Now. Let's switch gears and talk about some things that I've actually bought from retail stores. First up is going to be Lord of the Rings, the card game. I absolutely love Marvel Champions, and this kind of falls in line with that. But with this, I like the theme a little bit more. I really like Marvel theme, but I like Lord of the Rings a little bit better, right? Gandalf! Love this stuff, dude. So it's going to follow suit with Marvel Champions a little bit, and I couldn't be any more excited to actually give this a shot. I have not played it yet, but I'm hoping to change that very soon. And that's going to be Lord of the Rings card game. Also, if you did watch the Game Room Tour video, you probably saw this one as well, and this is going to be Windward. I love this whole idea, right? You got this board, you got this ship, you're flying around using the wind. You can upgrade your ship over time. You're going to do battle and stuff like that. Obviously, I haven't even opened up the box yet, but I just, I love this idea. So I wanted to give it a shot and I'm hoping to really change, uh, I'm hoping to change playing this soon. I'm hoping to get it out. I don't think I'm going to do a playthrough of it, but I'm, I'm just excited, man. It looks like it's a lot of fun. And so that's going to be Windward. Next up, uh, I was just talking about Marvel Champions. This is going to be Marvel Champions Sinister Motives. Again, Henrik, I'm sorry, I still have not opened up the box, but I'm going to get there, right? I have most of everything for this game. I have all the big box expansions. I have a lot of the character packs. I think there's only a handful of characters I still need. Absolutely love the game. It is fantastic. And I mostly play solo, um, two-handed at this point. I was playing with one character, but I've since switched to two and I think it's a little bit more fun that way, but always happy to have more characters and more enemies to fight. And that is going to be sinister motives. Hoping to change that soon as well. I'm going to get a play of that relatively soon. Also, I believe in one of my previous episodes that I did like this, I mentioned these products. I'm just now getting them in. And that is because of this play mat right here. And this is also going to be for Super Fantasy Brawl. This is the playmat. It comes with 
uh, player mats, his individual player mats as well. But I got this along with the Mystics of Midgard. Always happy to add more stuff to Blood Rage. I think at this point, I'm only missing Fenrir and the, uh, what's that clan? Wild Boar clan. I'm only missing those two. And I'm, I'm okay with that. I have everything else, like I said, and it's plenty of Blood Rage. It's one of my favorite games. So Mystics of Midgard, I'm going to add to it. As well as Ankh Pantheon. So I got these three items. I pre-ordered this, but everything was waiting on this playmat right here. And they just sent out Super Fantasy Brawl, Brawl Round 2. And that's where the playmat came from as well. So really excited about Ankh as well. Love that game. So does my wife. Uh, I'm excited to have more gods to try out. There's a lot of stuff in that box. And I'm going to try to get her to do another playthrough of Ankh soon. We both really enjoy that game. And uh, I'm happy to have more stuff for it. Also, I picked up some Project Elite stuff. And this is going to be the Rook team. This is one of my favorite games. I love it. I love the chaotic nature of it. And I was looking for Rook team for a long time. I wasn't finding anything out there. I think the one listing I did see on eBay was like for $200. I couldn't do that. Even this was still expensive, but I found a good deal. I believe this was $70. So it's still super expensive, right? For this little tiny box. There's only six in here and I believe an additional one in here. But I love this game. And sometimes I just, I go a little bit crazy for the games that I really like. And this is one of those. These guys are fantastic. They're in these huge mech suits. Badass. These play a little bit differently as well. So I'm curious to try these out. But that is going to be Project Elite Rook Team. And then lastly, let's move this out of the way. We have this bad boy right here. Mechs vs. Minions. Uh, this is based on the League of Legends. And this is kind of like a MOBA style game. I haven't played this yet. And I... I am going to try to get a playthrough of this soon. I'm thinking within the next two weeks. But this, the production quality is off the charts with this one. And I really wanted to pick this up sooner than later because they are not doing another print run of this. So I didn't want to wait until the game gets up to like $300 plus. Uh, so I wanted to pick it up now and I got a pretty good deal on it. So I'm definitely curious about this one. And like I said, I'm going to try to have a playthrough of this soon. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And that's basically everything that I have... Uh, gotten in as well as bought at retail and now let's switch it up and let's talk about some campaigns that i backed all right so first up let's talk about the one dollar pledges uh, let's just get those out of the way first uh so first up let's talk anastir i do really like the game i did do a live playthrough uh with sam healy from mythic games live on tabletop simulator had a great time I, i'm really liking what i'm seeing but my preferred method most of the time with these is to back at a dollar and later increase that um, so that's just what I did for Anastir. I am eventually going to go up to the 130 companion pledge with the possibility of maybe going up to the dragon pledge at 160. There's going to be a lot of content in this box and I think I'm okay at least doing the core with the stretch goals, but I am at least as it stands right now, I am definitely going to increase that to the 130. Um, I, again, I, I like what I'm seeing. I like the whole combo effect with the fury and all that other sort of stuff. I really like the theme, riding those things. That's super cool. I love that idea. So I do like it. I just went in for the dollar as of now, but with the intention to increase it later. All right, next up, let's talk Dark Quarter. This is by Lucky Duck Games. I usually like their games a lot. Um, so I, I am super curious about this, but I need to look into this a little bit more. I will say I... I don't know as much as I would like to know. So again, with this one, I went in for the, the lowest just to get access to the pledge manager. So again, I, I did glance over the campaign. I did like what I was seeing. And again, with Lucky Duck Games, I really like their stuff. So I am super curious about this, but I just need to look into it a little bit more before I increase it. And then next up, let's talk Mindbug. A really lightweight card game co-designed by Richard Garfield, who also designed one of my favorite card games, Magic the Gathering. And while I know that doesn't mean this is going to be good as well, I really like what I'm seeing with this. I love the artwork. I love how simple it is. You got these mind bugs and you got to decide when to play it. It sounds super cool. And the price point was cheap enough. So I did go in for the Mind Bug Pioneer. 
this game looks great, man. I'm, I'm just, I'm excited to get it. I'm excited to play this with my stepson and my kids when they get a little older. It just looks like a lot of lightweight fun. All right, and then next up, one of my favorites, Too Many Bones. This is the Unbreakable campaign on GameFound. I am so excited for this. Obviously by Chip Theory Games, and you can see here, 268. I got the Unbreakable, all new gameplay content. I got the uh, Unbreakable Adventure map. Uh, Matt, as well as the gear lock storage, you know, the deluxe trays that you need for the um, the trove chest. So I got all that stuff. I was, and I'm, I might still possibly add the solo play mats. I don't know right here. I don't know. I don't think so. I think this is something that I'll just pick up later on Chip Theory Games site. I think for now I'm good with this. I have everything else for the game, so I don't need anything else like the uh, promo packs, the other expansions and stuff. So this is basically everything new that I'm willing, uh, you know, wanting to get. I already have the autom automaton of shale already pre-ordered from a while ago, so I don't need to add that either. And uh, I don't need stuff like this, like the dice tray and stuff like that. So um, I'm good with what I have. This is where I ended up, and I'm really excited. I'm really looking forward to this one. This is one of my favorite games. So yeah, that's going to be Too Many Bones, Unbreakable. All right, and then we have Uprising Titans of the First Age. I recently did a review of this. I have a few playthroughs up on the channel. I absolutely love this game. This one is rising pretty rapidly in my favorite games. Uh, but I did go in for this. Right now, I just went in for the, uh, the new... The Titan Pledge, the Titans of the First Age, Age expansion. Plus, since I was one of the early uh, birds or whatever it's called, I got the, the dice pack as well. Plus with the hexagonal dice tray. So just 59 right now, I have every single intention of adding everything new in this campaign. I already have the Arch Nemesis expansion. I even pre-ordered the, not pre-ordered, I ordered the play map for this as well, which is separate on a different site. But I'm... I fully intend on getting all of this stuff. Uh, the du deluxe components, allies, card pack, armory. Uh, I already get in the dice tray. Painted curse miniatures. I'm going to get that as well. The blessing card pack. Maybe even additional dice pack. I don't know. Uh, probably not. But I'm going to add all that stuff. I absolutely love this game. It's fantastic. I rate this one very highly. And I'm, I'm super excited to get all this new stuff. So again, right now, just the latest expansion but I am going to add all this stuff later. And then continuing on GameFound, we have Final Girl Series 2. I've heard a lot of great things about this. I did not play the first season of this, um, I, but I've heard fantastic things, and I'm really curious about getting this one. So what I did was I actually went in for the gameplay all-in, so 236 or 237 basically. But So that's all the gameplay content. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff here. Now, I was debating on getting either the first season or the second, but I was like, I'm probably going to like it. Sometimes I get these feelings about the games, and I'm like, I know I'm going to like that. And so I got that feeling with this one as well. So I went in. I just did the gameplay all in. I'm not I'm not too concerned about the other things. I don't even care, really care about the minis or anything like that. Meeples I'm perfectly fine with. So... So I didn't get all that other additional components. This is one that I'm perfectly content just getting the bare bones, everything for the gameplay. So really excited about this one. Really look forward to it. And when I get it, I am going to do some playthroughs on the channel. So that's going to be Final Girl Season 2. All right. And last up, Marvel Zombies. What did I do? Andrew, there's crazy shipping price increases. I know. I did go in for it. Um, I got the screen like this because as I switch here... Uh, you can see uh, your pledge reward reward level is. I went in for the resistance pledge, and uh, you can see here, proud to be the uh, yeah yada yada. So I did go in for it. I I have the screen over here because there's a little bit of personal information uh, over to the side, but I did go in for it. I think it looks great. I think I'm really gonna like this game. Let's see if we can move this back over here. Yeah, there we go. So. I think I'm really going to like the game. Everything looks good. I might add more later. I don't know. But I think right now I'm just okay at the resistance pledge. I get into trouble sometimes by going in for like the core games and then slowly over time, oh, I'll just throw another 30. I'll just throw another 50, right? It can be dangerous that way. And I have a feeling it might happen here. But for now, I'm okay with the resistance pledge. There's a ton of stuff in there. And uh, I think it looks great, man. I think it's going to be super cool playing as the zombies, you know, having to eat people and stuff. It's a zombicide. 
I love it, man. I, so I think it looks really good. And the shipping prices, look at what's happening. Uh, I was even going to have another game on here, Uthia. I was going to back Uthia. I already intended. I, I think I was going to go in for all the new gameplay stuff. I really love that game. Um, and look what happened to Uthia. And then uh, I'm not saying everything had to do with shipping, but probably a little bit. Uh, which is, it's just unfortunate, man, it, that the situation is what it is and it sucks. So I don't know. Um, it's, a, it's a whole conversation, but I mean, I, for me personally, um, I'd still rather pledge and get the game be paying that much shipping than not. Uh, that's just where I stand because I think I'm really going to like the game. So, uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for the games. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comments, what did you back recently? Did you go in for Marvel Zombies? What other things did you pick up at the stores? I'm curious to hear all that stuff. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to have more of these in the future. And so be sure to stay tuned for those. And until I see you guys next time, grab some brews, play some games. I'll catch you on the next one. All right, peace.